Force must welcome Crystal Palace to Blustery Fratton Park, knowing that defeat would signal the end of their championship stay and condemn them to the third tier for the first time in 29 years. Palace looking for their first win in seven had a chance early on, but Pompey keeper Jamie Ashdown was equal to it. The home side who sent Doncaster down with a 4-3 win on Saturday also tried their luck from range. This one testing Julian Speroni. Midway through the first half, a Palace who hadn't won in 10 competitive away games should have taken the lead through Antonio Pedrosa, but he couldn't convert the chance on his full league debut. Then Michael Appleton's side went even closer to opening the scoring. Luke Varney brushed the post. Just after the half hour, Poppy did take the lead in rather fortuitous circumstances. Scott Allen's first goal in English football took a big deflection off Nathaniel Klein. In the second half, Palace twice came within a whisper of equalising. Pedroza hitting the post and the follow-up going into the side netting. And in the 55th minute, the home side doubled their advantage. Greg Halford popping up to score his third goal in two games. But with 20 minutes remaining, Palace were given a penalty. Barney brought down Wilfred Zaha in the box. Substitute Darren Ambrose stepped up, and he scored his 10th of the season to make it 2-1. As scores stood from other matches on the night, another Palace goal will have sent Pompey down. Doogie Freeman's team had this one disallowed for a foul on Ashdown. Later on, Chris Maguire had a great chance to make it 3-1, but his shot was blocked by Paul McShane, and it finished 2-1. Pompey must now win their last two matches at Hope for Derby and at Nottingham Forest to have any chance of staying up.